take a deep inhale in through your nose and out through your nose. Inhaling deep in through your nose, feeling the exchange in your belly and exhaling back out through the nose. Today we're going to practice Metta Mindfulness. Metta is the practice of spreading love and kindness. Spreading love and kindness is very important to do. It's very important for us to do it to ourselves, to those that we love, and to those that we don't like very much. You can do Metta any time you want to. You can do it while you're waiting in line. You can do it while you're sitting at your desk. All you need is your smart mind and these four phrases. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you feel loved. May you be safe. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you feel loved. May you be safe. It is always important to practice Metta on ourselves first. So I want you to think about a picture of yourself. Maybe it's your school picture. Or maybe it's a picture with your family. Or maybe it's a picture of you doing something silly. Visualize that picture. And I want you to say the four phrases to yourself as I say them out loud. May I be happy. May I be healthy. May I feel loved. May I be safe. May I be happy. May I be healthy. May I feel loved. May I be safe. It's so important to practice Metta on ourselves first so that we feel loved. And when we feel loved ourselves, we can practice Metta on those that we love very much. So now think about someone that you love very much. Maybe it's your mom or your dad. Maybe it's one of your siblings or a special friend. Perhaps it's one of your pets. Visualize a picture of that person. And as I say the words out loud, visualize that you are saying the phrases to that person. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you feel loved. May you be safe. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you feel loved. May you be safe. It's so important to practice Metta on ourselves and those that we love. But here comes the hard part of Metta, but the most important part to spread love and kindness to those that we don't like very much. It's important to practice Metta on people that we don't like very much because often they don't feel loved. They're not happy, healthy, or safe. So bring to mind someone you don't like very much. Maybe it's someone who has been unkind to you. 
Or maybe it is someone who has hurt you or someone that you love very much. Visualize saying these four phrases to that person as I say them out loud. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you feel loved. May you be safe. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you feel loved. May you be safe. When we practice metta on someone who has been unkind to us, we often feel better and we act with more love and compassion and kindness to those around us. Remember that you can practice metta any time that you want to. All you need to do is use the four phrases and see a picture in your mind of that person. Mm-hmm.